Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is December 17, 2023, and today is the third Sunday of Advent, Year B. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, and chapter 19, I mean verses 19 to 28. We are now on the third Sunday of Advent, and this Sunday, the third Sunday of Advent, is otherwise known as Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete means it is a Sunday of rejoicing. We need to be glad. We need to be happy. We need to be joyful. Why? Because in few more days, we will celebrate the birthday of our Savior. We will celebrate the birthday of Jesus, and He is the reason of this season. And this rejoicing is externally manifested in our liturgical vestment this Sunday. And you will see the color will turn from purple into color rose or pink, you know. Pink or color rose, this color conveys happiness, gracefulness and admiration. And since today is the third Sunday of Advent, this is Sunday of Rejoicing, it's good to ask ourselves, is the type of rejoicing we are experiencing is truly a spirit of Advent? Is the rejoicing you are experiencing today, is it truly in a spirit of Advent? In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah is reminding us that our joy can only be found in the Lord. That's why Isaiah is telling me and you, rejoice in the Lord always. But the friends, real and genuine joy can only be found in the Lord, not in drugs, not in alcohol, not in pleasures, not in money, not in fame, not in beauty. And also, negative mind will never give us a positive uh, outlook in life. Negative people attract negative results. That's why stay away from negativity. Be a carrier of good news. That is how to bring joy. We need to bind up broken hearted. Fix hearts that is broken and don't break one's heart as well. Proclaim liberty to captives and give justice to the victims of injustice. That is how the best way to bring joy to others. That is what Prophet Isaiah is telling us telling us in our first reading for today and our second reading you know tells us the best expression of rejoicing in the lord and you know my dear friends there is joy in prayer that's why rejoice in prayer pray without ceasing prayer is not a boring thing there is joy in praying second we need to hold fast to what is good we will experience joy if we abstain from every form of evil because evil wants to make our life miserable do good without ceasing because there is joy in doing what is good and third in our second reading to have joy we need to be grateful because a thankful heart is a happy heart and if you want to find happiness to find it in gratitude there is joy in saying thank you because gratitude is the best attitude our second reading for today is telling me and you that there is joy in praying, there is joy in doing good, and there is joy in being grateful. And our gospel present to us a wonderful tips on how to experience joy through the figure of John the Baptist. We are challenged to testify to the light, and the light that John is referring to is Jesus. And how to and how to experience joy. Like John the Baptist, we need to follow his example. We need to be honest. Live in truth because there is truth in rejo There is rejoicing in truth. An honest person is the happiest person. If you always tell what is truth, it will give you happiness. It will give you joy. John the Baptist is not an opportunistic guy. You know, there's a temptation for him to claim and to pretend that he is a Messiah because he's very famous. But he, tell, he told people, I am not he. There is someone greater than me, and he is coming, um, and I'm not even worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. St. John the Baptist, he is not fake. He is real. And he doesn't pretend to, to claim that he is, he is not the Messiah. Friends, 
if you wanted to experience joy live in truth be honest and second like john the baptist we are encouraged to live in humility there is also joy in being humble nowadays pride is the normal standard you know the friends my brothers and sisters pride make us artificial but humility make us real there is joy in humility and finally john the baptist is also asking us to be simple why we need to be simple because the lord the messiah is coming is very simple like john the baptists we need to be honest we need to be humble and we need to be simple and if we do that you will experience joy if you love and like this reflection kindly share it with others so that many will be blessed amen